afternoon, South Africa, and a very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express. My name is Jeannie D. Pali, are you ready for today? I'm so... Well, I don't know, girl. I'm kind of scared. Are you ready for the weekend? I am. That I'm ready for. I'm ready for the weekend. Well, let me, tell, well, let me tell you, you better be ready for today because it's Friday the 13th. Yeah. It is a leap year, and we are in the middle of a pandemic. So, <laughs> touch <laughs> wood. Let's put our heads down and get through this, and we're going to get to, through today yeah. in a really, really positive, great, fun, inspiring, creative way. Yeah. Because, of course, it is time to get the weekend vibes going. We have got two top South African designers in the loft today. The legendary Gavin oh. Raja and the incredibly talented Stefania Morland are both here to show off some of their greatest collections. Plus, we have a special surprise for all of you. It's an Afternoon Express exclusive. We all know how much you love seeing our faces on your screens. And soon, <laughs> you'll be able to have our faces on your phones too. So stay tuned for that. Now, the first guest was born in Nigeria and he then moved to South Africa to pursue his musical career. Since 2012, he has grown his name in the country and collaborated with some of the top local stars like Cuesta, Gigi Lemayne, and in 2018 with Moonchild for the hit song, Pununu. Hey, hey, <laughs> I almost Pununu. added an I in there somewhere. Oh. <laughs> it's Scooby Nero. Anyway, not do it. I look up to play. Yeah. Hey. If you buy, I go pay. If you buy, I go pay. Yeah. Hey. Anything that you say. Anything that you say. Yeah. Hey. Anywhere where you go, I go follow you go. Yeah. Hey. Baby, got you the reason. reason. That I am singing. singing. The way I'm feeling. feeling. The way I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. No one can touch you. No, no. I love you like I do. So dance to the song. No. My baby, make a song for you. Song for you. Song for you. Song for you. Online, if you have any questions for Scubinero, tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. I mean, Scubinero, bling bling, money ain't a thing to you, homeboy. You are iced out from head to toe, looking ever so cool. I'm telling you, those bracelets <laughs> are gonna maybe disappear from your arm today. And I mean, have you yeah, seen the teeth? <laughs> Welcome to the loft, Scubinero. Thanks for having me. We you. have to just start at your name. That is so unique. I've never heard a name like that before. You used to be a dancer, so is that where your name came from? Yeah, it's a, it's a thing that, you know, dancers, they do, you know. When they count, when they, when they dance, they count like one, two, three, four. One, two, oh, ta, 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 ta. But me being the crazy guy that I am now, I just do Scooby, Scooby. You know, things like that, you feel me? I, I have to know, because you travelled, like, all over the place, and you did incredible gigs for, like, Akon and a whole lot of oh, international cool. artists. What was your signature move as a dancer, and can we see it? Oh, my God. OK, that was that was way back. No, no, yeah, that was way back. Move. No, that was way back. <laughs> I don't dance no more, man. I do the money move. Let's show, see show me what the money move is. Just go about the moolah, you know? I don't dance no more. Ah. You understand? Now I get dancers to, like, dance for me. Oh, yeah? Sing. <laughs> you don't like dance that, now, no. you do money moves. Like but I mean, with such incredible success in South Africa, having moved from Nigeria, you're down here, fell in love with the country in 2010. Sure. Now, is it kind of weird to have an entire nation backing you? You've got the top tiers names in South African music industry that you're collaborating with. We're downloading, we're streaming. How does that feel? It feels super good, and I'm very, very grateful to South Africans, or Southern African region people, yeah. mostly South Africans as well. I feel very, I, I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. So to people who don't know a lot about your music, how would you describe your sound? Okay, I'm versatile, just so you know. Like you saw, you saw the Pununu song, that's like the um, quite of vibe, ne? Yeah. Then I also have, um, I do trap and I also do Afrofusion. So right about I'm doing Afrofusion, like Afropop, you yeah. understand? Yeah. I have to ask, what is trap? 
trap? Because I'm a huge, huge music lover, and I just I've, I, don't, I don't get what trap is. Okay, what well, is trap is um, the kind of song that, you know, I wouldn't say, can I say drug dealers? And yeah. <laughs> like um, hustlers, you know, let me just say hustlers. Okay. People that buy that money, they talk about money, how they get money, and okay. how you can make money, you know? Okay. okay. Most of it's all about money. Yeah. So yeah. The, the guys that are popping bottles, that's trap. That is spending money. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, are we thinking about it or are we actually spending money? <laughs> that's spending money. I'm talking about getting money. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's trap. And um, in general, when you do release an album, a single, a collaboration, do you see your incredible success as something to feel pressure under or does it continuously drive you to go harder and continue to make the hits? Like, how does it, how does it too balance? It definitely drives me to go harder. I let me want to do more, you understand? When I see, okay, let me just say, I put in like 10% mm. into this and I get like, 100%, like people are going crazy, you understand? Yeah. And I'll be like, I just did 10%. Wow, let How me much go more hard. Like 50%. You understand? Let me just go hard. So it, it drives me to go harder yeah. every time. So it makes me want to do more. But what's also interesting about you is that when you're on stage, you are this electric, fierce personality. But when you're at home, you're like this person who listens to like what? Uh, Dolly Parton. And, and, you, oh, I and you're listening to like very different music. <laughs> Country music what? and all that. You're very I different. love Kenny Rogers as well. Yeah. I listen to Can't Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton, Jim Reeves. I just like, I I grew up with those kind of songs, you yeah. understand? So when it comes to the other kind of songs, like Bill Trap's Tees, is the life that we want, like what we're living out there, yeah. you understand? But when I'm in my, in my, you know, my own sanctuary, <laughs> I was like relax. I can't be thinking, I can't be doing, you know? Yeah. I have to Definitely. relax. So songs like that keep me going. You know? Oh, that's so beautiful. So do you continuously have that duality in your personality and in your interactions with people? Are you a bit the best of both worlds? Like, come again, please. I'm um, saying, so do you consider yourself the best of both worlds then, just in general, in your normal interaction and in your music? Yeah, I would say that. I'm best of both worlds, you know? Mm. Yeah. Naturally, I'm like, to, well, to some people, they would like, hey, this guy, is, he keeps to himself a lot. Why do some people, like, he's the craziest <laughs> person they know? They'll be like, ah, oh, this guy, he's just crazy, <laughs> like, he's just hyper. It's like, you told me that I'm chilled now. Some of that person will be like, Scooby chilled? What? <laughs> you know, it's like that. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. beautiful, Scooby Nero. Thank you so much for Thank that. You. But we have asked everyone on social media if they've got any questions for you. And we've got Frederick who says, hey there, how does um, his songwriting process work? Is it melody first or lyrics first? Of course, it's melody first. I think people should do that. It's a melody first. When it comes to that, it's a melody first, you, ah. know, you know. Get it, you know. Get the old vibe first, then just fix it in words and all that. Then chorus comes, you know, yeah. And that's how you make the beat build. Thank you so much, Scooby. Now, if Scooby will be back with us at the end of the show for a live performance to Jeez. get your weekend started. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And speaking of the weekend, I'm sure many of you are planning to spend time with family. So after the break, we will share some really great inspirations for a family picnic that you can try out over the weekend. Plus, we have fashion from Stefania Morland. Find your smooth fortune with Tropica. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and stand a chance to win your share of 1 million rand in prizes, such as a trip for two with KLM to Amsterdam. LG G8X cell phones, LG TVs and dishwashers, guest vouchers, guest watches and accessories, plus the smooth grand prize of a Suzuki Ignis. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you have to win. Tropica, nothing smoother.
Silver Cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, where we are certainly in the weekend spirit. Now, the new Clover Kibitos are a fresh, natural, and on-the-go cheese snack. They're especially perfect for those times when you have the munchies or where they're deciding on what to pack for a picnic. Speaking of which, Chef Dumi has some picnic inspiration for us to try out over the weekend, whilst the weather is still good, or, of course, in the eventuality that you're trying to impress someone. If you'd like these recipes, simply SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. SMS is cost one and 50 and for SMSs do not apply. Chef Chumi, where yes, do darling. we begin? Yes, we're going to begin here with our kebabs today. So we're starting by making these kebabs. I'm going to start by making the sauce that's going to go on top of our kebabs. Okay. But before I do that, I'm just going to skewer these together. Can okay. I ask you then to mix in all these ingredients into our sauce there? Beautiful. Obviously, we want to make, uh, when we're making, when we're packing our picnic baskets, you'd want to try and make sure that the ingredients that are there, or rather the dishes that are there, are not too hectic. You don't mm. want to pack things that require hours and hours of prep and hours and hours in front of the stove. Adding. You literally just want to pack something that's quick on the go and light as well. Because mm. if you're out in the street, you don't want to be eating something that's going to cause you to fall asleep thereafter, you know? Absolutely. And also, you don't want to kind of have something that is uh, needing a fork and knife. You, yes. you want to go for the things that are finger food. Simple, yes. So. So, so, here, so far, okay, so <laughs> speaking of, I put tomato sauce in here, I put some um, um, chutney, yes. and then what's that? Is this, is this Worcester sauce? It's a barbecue sauce, oh, actually. Barbecue. You are able to make your own barbecue, barbecue sauce if you'd like to. Um, I like to just buy it ready-made sometimes because I don't have the time on my hands, mm. but it always is best to add whatever you'd like. So this is what is gonna be, we're gonna be using to brush over our chicken right now. Let's and um, I actually like the fact that you added some lemon in there, some lemon squeezings and some lemon yes. zest, because I love to bake my chicken in some garlic and lemon. It's an easy seasoning, but always tastes so good. Yes, and then what we're adding now is just some paprika to add that bit of heat mm. to our um, barbecue sauce. And then you're gonna just dress it over there, or rather, let me just brush it over on my side. And so whenever you're making these kind of dishes where there's a basting sauce, I do advise that once you've put on the first layer, okay. once it's in the oven, give it about three to five minutes and then take it out and baste it again. That way it caramelizes very nicely, mm. as you can see right there. Oh, it, very so nice. So those charred bits, you don't consider them burnt. You consider it nicely charred. And it actually elevates the taste of the sauce itself. Absolutely. I love that. I love the textures that you have. When you do put chicken in the oven, because it can be hard and crispy on the outside, but still moist and succulent on the yes, inside. Yes, perfect. Let so you can sit that in the oven for us. So that's going to cook for 20 minutes. And then you obviously do check it to make sure that it's cooked to the doneness um, that we would prefer. So yeah. I'm just going to put this over here because we're going to fold it and put it into our picnic basket. Yeah. And then over here, I'm going to get started with our pickling liquid because that's going to be now another part of our dish because we're going to be making pasta salad as well. Lovely. So these are all the ingredients there. You can actually get started with that over okay. there. You put in our feta, our sweet corn, tomatoes, as well as some... Um, olives and then you'll just dress it all with some of the olive oil there and salt and pepper. Beautiful. So that pickling um, liquid that you have going on, is that that very strong vinegary scent I'm picking up? Yes, yes. So what we've got here is we've got some apple cider vinegar mm. we've got that we've heated up on the stove and then we've also got some brown sugar and then I'm adding some water to it just to dilute it because obviously if it's just the sugar and the, and the vinegar, it's going to be too strong, too tangy. So you want to make sure that we balance that flavour. So whenever you're making a pickling liquid, always try to make sure that it's equal quantities. So if you're going to be using tablespoons, so it's going to be one tablespoon of each. If it's going to be cups, then you'll make it one. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio, basically, of everything. Keeping it equal. Basically, yes. That. Okay. All right, so I've done that. I'm adding, I've added all my ingredients here. And this is going to go onto our cucumber and carrot ribbons. And then these are going to sit and pickle for at least an hour because you want those flavors to actually mellow into the food, into Beautiful. whatever you're pickling. The longer you're pickling it, the stronger the flavor will be. Mm. But obviously over here, we've got some that we've pickled earlier and that's gonna go on top of our salad that you're making for us over there. Beautiful. So while you're doing that, I'm just gonna quickly fold in our, our kebabs that we made earlier mm. while you're tossing that over there. The salad is looking really, really good. And I've, this is something that anyone can whip up at home. It is the weekend, a lot of people want to get the last little bits of summer as possible. Yes. The sun is out. South Africa is feeling really hot at the moment. So it's quite nice to get out there before we coop that hibernating. Yes, water. yes, perfect. All right, so that looks perfect over this. You can just add this into our salad, into our 
jars. So we're going to start with the salad at the bottom. So be because we want to make sure that we keep this as fresh as possible, mm -hmm. we're going to start with the heaviest things on the bottom, which is our salad. Okay. And then we're going to follow with our pickled veg over here. Okay. So once you've filled it up just almost to the top, because oh, of all the, the pickling, way up. yeah, because of the pickling liquid in our uh, veggies, we don't need an additional dressing. Mm. So all the liquids that are actually in the pickling liquid will just drizzle down all the way to the bottom. And then with the olive oil that you've already put in there, it'll actually just become the dressing. So there's Beautiful. no additional dressing needed. And also we are saying goodbye to dry salads. <laughs> We're adding more flavour to our salads, we so we can enjoy it more because eating healthy right now is so it's the way critical. to go. It's so key. It's flu season. People have bugs. People. Are Aren't feeling quite passionate, yes. you know. <laughs> so we want to bring the life back into you, South Africa, and this is definitely the meal to do so. Perfect. You're correct, actually. And what we're doing now, we're saying we're keeping it light. Mm. This goes very well in our picnic basket. A very light salad, a very light, uh, simple to make kebab. And then on top of that, we've got our cubitos, which are very easy, easy to find. You know, you just basically purchase them, go into your picnic basket. You've got your orange juice. You've got whatever, mm. everything that's light, basically, because we're trying to keep it light. To try to watch our weight, some of us. And <laughs> Gonna keep it healthy. In life. I love these cubitos <laughs> as well because whether you're packing it in a lunchbox and it's cuffed in, or you want to enjoy it in front of your favorite series on television, these are great and good. Go with almost anything. So on that note, do you know what Valisa is gonna do? Because uh, she adds cheese to absolutely everything. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese just to the top of this because you like to go extra. I like to go extra. Go big or go home. <laughs> go big or go home. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that, Dumi. Awesome. Let's put that lid right on there with our kebabs ready for enjoyment fresh and on the go has never been simpler so don't forget to include some clover cubitos remember sms the keyword clover to 33650 in case you'd like to get inspired by these quick and easy recipes for success clover cheese is for those who love life where everything falls into place and melts away our cares clover for the love of cheese made with love by clover it's now time to turn our focus to fashion and joining me now is Cape Town designer Stefania Morland who has been running her high-end fashion boutique in the Mother City for more than 15 years now. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy it's always so lovely to see you because you are just such a lady and you know you always get, always bring us some incredible fashion as well to have a look at. So last night you had such a successful show obviously at AFI but your show was centered around no season. Tell yes. us why you decided to do that. Well, in my shop, I've always had winter and summer stuff because you know people travel, and but also it's nice to wear something light. You put a coat on and boots, and there's yeah. a totally different out, um, sure. um, uh, different look. Yeah. So it's yeah easy to mix the season. I love that. So do you think just continuous to continuing on that path, mm -hmm. seasonless, sustainable, and slow fashion is just what the conversation is about right now? But yeah. do you think that there's a market for that in Africa right now? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but that is always that's always been my starting point. I, I've, since the beginning, I had both seasons and mm -hmm. always sustainable, using um, mostly natural fabrics, fabrics that's um, that can break down easily and also clothing that lasts forever so people always come back after 10 15 years and say just please add a bit here I've gone a bit wider so I make my top <laughs> a bit wider and yeah. that sort of thing so I it's easy that. very easy to change it yeah. or to add something to it and to just keep wearing it forever you know having the sustainability chat uh, but from years ago when you would go to the shop and there would be the winter collection and then there would be the summer collection there are now 52 micro like seasons well, throughout yes. a year which yeah. means there's just this glut of clothing now in the world yeah. why is it important for people to focus on buying quality, buying less, but buying better stuff than having these like quick in an easy in and out quick trends. Yeah, yeah. They must also realise if it's if they bought it yes today and in two weeks' time it's out of fashion. Yeah. It's not like that. One should just make it work, make it yeah. put it with your own clothes, mix and match well, and. Um, but also it's always best to buy, maybe rather pay a bit more and buy quality and it yeah. lasts forever. But then this is coming from someone who's 15 years deep in the industry game. So for you, I think it's easier for you to see things, mix, match and put it together. But for mm. someone like me who sometimes looks at my wardrobe and I'm like, okay, I've worn that 75 billion times. Mm. And that definitely is like quarter to 
ancient. How do I keep reimagining outfits? How do I keep mixing and matching? Is it about finding those staple pieces and then just putting that together? And oh, yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. I get overwhelmed, as yeah. you can no, tell. We all have our favorites, so you must just play. You must just create, uh, put stuff, throw things, throw things together, and um, yeah. most of the time it works. Add yeah. new accessories to it, just play, and, mm -hmm. and use winter and summer and add a coat and. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I mentor a lot of young girls and I always tell them rather buy one thing exactly. that is just so, so completely timeless because yeah. that'll last you yeah. forever. And it's such a joy to be. Instead of buying 50 yeah. little things yeah. and then eventually, you know, good corp is dear corp. Eventually yeah. you're going to spend that yes. money on a whole bunch exactly. of rubbish anyway. Um, so it's so important to buy good yeah. quality mm -hmm. and then always have it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, with sustainability, do people actually come to your shop again and say, oh, well, can we change this? And then do you up Cycle. Yeah, we have cycle. Well, yeah. All the time. yeah, it's not huge changes, but something just adding another hem to make it longer and mm. adding a bit of a sleeve or just some detail. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I don't mind doing it at all. It's, yeah, um, yeah and, and wearing quality garments, you always feel better. Yeah. I mean, the fabric feels good and you know it's well crafted by. Yeah. By, uh, by the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in general, when you want your audiences to think of your work, think of everything that you've done, what is the one thing, if there is one thing, that you want to be remembered for when we think of your garments? Is it the materials? Is it the colour? Is it the play with pattern? Is it the flirty nature of it? I think it's all of it combined. <laughs> and the fact that it makes you feel happy. I mean, yeah. I, and it's my best thing to see customers or people walking around the street wearing my stuff and you can just see you, they, look, they feel good. Yeah. yeah. No. Why should people be conscious of, and if you can just sum up what it means, slow fashion? It's um, clothes made, made with care, it's longer lasting, it's um, more sustainable, you pay your work as well, you don't rip anyone off, you see mm. where the fabric comes from, yeah. mm -hmm. and the, the whole cycle, because yeah. one garment can last your whole lifetime. A whole lifetime. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then your child, your daughter can wear it afterwards. Oh, yeah. Which my daughter, your daughter was she's stealing last from time my wardrobe. She was telling us how often she goes into your wardrobe, and I was like, listen, your mother must have quite a wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> and in fact, we're planning on having a party. Jeannie has been gracious enough to invite me over to her house. We're going to have a full-on party where I'm going to go shopping in her wardrobe. I'm having a cull. Yes. I'm having a little wardrobe cull. But you know when some things are too nice to throw out? I know. Rather so give it to a friend. Rather have friends yeah. come over and then oh, they will amazing. reuse it and then that's exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah what it's all about you can pass it on and make yeah. someone else happy with yeah. the same Put it all in a pile. I do love a little cold yeah. party. Enjoy. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And talking about a party, can we just head over to the incredible mm. festivities that is your fashion? Can we cue our first model? I mean, she's looking ever so fierce in that orange. <laughs> can you tell us about this first look? Um, there again, you can mix and match. The jacket can go over a different dress, uh, and you can dress it down for day. You can dress it so up for, for evening. Beautiful. And I love colour. You, oh, you just make really everybody happy. They walk into my shop and they see the colour and they go, oh, colour. Yeah. Oh. Especially the colour in this collection. No, I love just, orange. It's, it's, it reminds me of a Cape Town sunset. It does. It does. Really, really yeah. stunning. And um, when you do showcase your pieces, what's the audience response like when people watch your fashion shows and these looks going down the runway? Is it just awe every time? I don't know. I'm standing in the back. No, you <laughs> must ask you them. Think, <laughs> I don't know. They, they all get a very, very good um, feedback afterwards. Yeah. But I, I would actually love to sit and watch it, but I can't. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you're busy. Um, tell us a little bit about this look. Uh, this is just a, um, oh, this dress too, it can be cocktail if it's, you know, flat, not cocktail, more casual, flat little s slip slops and then again you can dress it up again. It's all um, silk satin, that Ach, is... I mean silk chiffon over silk satin. That's oh, that must mean it must feel so beautiful. It feels so good. That. There's nothing like satin on your oh, body. That's skin. the dress that you just want to freshly shave your legs and then put that dress on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that feeling would yeah, be amazing. The slinkiness on your legs. Oh, it's the best. Feeling. It seems to be more about quality over quantity. That just no, seems definitely. to be the theme definitely. that keeps running Rather, throughout. Yes. This is gorgeous. And this looks like the perfect coat to have between seasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even with that one, if you, you can wear a long long sleeve black dress under it, then it's yeah. a total different look. I like playing with um Does it open like a coat in the front? No, no, or it's, or it's a coat. coat. It's a dress, like oh, a dress. beautiful. Yeah. That neckline and is also just be nice so sexy over a short, ruffle. Yeah. Mm. And over a short little dress will be... Definitely. Oh, yes. 
Oh yes. With and I love, always love, there's a little bit of embellishment, which I always love. I love my beads. <gasps> Oh. And this is a showstopper. This is stunning. You know what I love about this? The cheeky little secret underneath. You know, that hidden tool right yes. at the bottom behind. That yeah. is so beautiful. That pop. This must have taken forever to make. Tell us a little bit about yeah. this outfit. Ruffles, ruffles. Yeah, lots of meters. Just a lot. The bottom bit of ruffles is about 10 meters of fabric that's oh. torn into strips. No. Yeah, so the whole dress would be about 25 meters of little bits of fabric. So how important then is attention to detail when you put very. these together? No, very. It's um, paramount. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it lasts forever. Quality yeah. lasts forever. Yeah. And the little be beading details on the edge of on the ribs just brings it all out. What yeah. I love about these outfits is that they photograph really, really well. Yeah. They look really good on seemingly almost any body type. <laughs> no, it does. It does. It works for, and if some Somebody's too big and you just add a panel in or yeah. it works. It's that yeah. easy. No, I love these feminine, feminine looks that you come with. The play with colour, definitely something that I have to have in my wardrobe. Even though we're not trying to buy more, but I just no, need one, just one on. <laughs> you don't need to buy anything for the next couple of months if you just have one Stefani Morland in your wardrobe. You're That's right. my girl. And then you build on that. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So you know that Afternoon Express loves exclusives. So after the break, we take a look at the special surprise we promised you. So exciting. <laughs> See you then. <laughs>
back to Afternoon Express. I certainly trust that you're having a fantastic Friday afternoon. Now, we promised you something fun yes. and exclusive to Afternoon Express. It's something super cool for you at home. We've made our very own Afternoon Express <laughs> gifts that you can use to comment on our social media platforms with our own faces. I mean, how cool is that? Cool. Yeah, listen, my yes. friends are going to be so annoyed with me <laughs> because on all of my group chats, I'm just permanently going to play out my own gifts. I love that. I mean, the first gift that we have up here is Jeannie blowing a kiss to the people. I oh. mean, that's just what we you do after every single show. You know you need that gift in show. your life. It is for you, though. So we, it is me. I blow kisses to everybody. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> All and, the time. And especially now we're blowing more kisses than actual yes, kisses. Yes, no kisses. contact. Yeah, 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 that's true. Oh, man, I should have done a curtsy gift because that's like my new greeting is a curtsy. <laughs> I love, yeah, 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 you did say that. And, of course, Jeannie's hair is iconic. So, you know, we had to have a little hair flick mm -hmm. moment. We had to have a little, you know. Yeah, that's just I think that's my favorite. <laughs> that's ultimate excitement. I love that. I love that. No, okay. But just to top off Jeannie's gift for me, this has to be the number one. Your little hey there, girl. Yes. Woo! Oh, you like that one. Yeah. <laughs> Who is she? What is she about? What's her story? Tell me what more. What does she want to say? I am so upset, <laughs> guys. If you are I'm in so love shy. with Jeannie's gifts <laughs> and you want to download some of her gifts, all you need to do is SMS the name Jeannie to three three six five zero. But if you think we're done. We ain't done. I, so I want to see yours. Come show <laughs> okay, me. okay, let me show you mine. Girl, you know I'm always trying to tip piece other people. Nah, turn around. <laughs> don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> South Africa, don't do it. Look, I'm obsessed That's with so cool, You know what? When th this gift is when you're talking trash about someone and they walk in and you're trying to tell your best friend, girl, don't do it. Yeah. yeah. That's the gift. Okay. Totally. But this is also another one. I stay doing you this. You do this a lot. My parents hate it. <laughs> My siblings hate <laughs> it. Like, if you keep on eye rolling that hard, you're actually going to go blind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we don't want that. We don't want it's that. We don't effect. want that. Okay, but also, you know, this is my Friday mood for today. This has to be my Friday mood. Yes. Tell me I'm more. Tell me more. <laughs> happiness. Happiness. Happy Hercules. 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 I love that. I love that. If you guys are as in love as I am with my gifts, all you need to do is SMS the keyword <laughs> by Lisa to 33650. And you know, okay. we got our taste master. To me, to me, to me. To me, to me. Mine will have extra flavor, guys. I'm just. No, I'm wanting so much spice here. You better have so much peri peri put on these. I mean, do me tell us about this one. When your crush walks in, you're like, hey, show me. When you don't think your crush is gonna come through. Okay, I kind of this one, I mean, I mean. This is my everyday mood, all day, every day. Yeah. Morning to noon. That is so cute. You're happy to so cute. That one's gonna go viral. That is amazing. That is very, very cute. Okay, next one, next one. This this one for me is the viral contender. This for me is the viral contender. Do me tell us about what you say? Say what? Say say what? Yeah, that's when you... This, okay, let me not. Orange I love stuff, it. But hey. Ah, <laughs> and that Friday. is so much fun. If you want to get Dumi's gifts, simply SMS the keyword to me to 33650. Friday, is that, that is amazing. <laughs> now, if you want to get your hands on our super awesome, amazing gifts, all you need to do is SMS the presenter's name. So either Pali, Jeannie or Tumi uh, to 33650 to get all of these gifts downloaded. Remember, SMS is one each free SMSs do not apply, but it's so worth it. <laughs> and this is how it works. When you SMS in, you'll receive a link where you can download the gifts and save them to your phone. So whenever you want to use them, you can just upload them as you comment or post. Looking oh, forward to that. I'm so excited. Guys, no, Danny, a tie me and SMS, yeah. please. Don't, this is don't, happening all weekend. Don't rob yourselves. <laughs> now, we've got more fashion to come from legend Gavin Raja after the break. I'm looking forward to seeing all of that. Plus, we said we have something special, Afternoon Express surprise for you. So if you want to get our faces on your phones, stay tuned. Oh, well, you already just saw that, so, you know. <laughs> we've given you those details. We'll be right SMS. back after the break. <laughs>
welcome back to Afternoon Express. Your Friday is about to get a lot more fabulous. If there's one name that's synonymous with fashion in South Africa, it is Gavin Raja. He has done incredible work in South Africa and putting our country on the global fashion map. He's been a dear friend to me for just over 20 years, oh. no, 18 years now, and he yeah. is just literally dripping in talent. No, you guys share the same blood at this stage. <laughs> now he joins us today to chat about his latest collection, which is about more than just great designs, but it's about spreading a positive message, which is very important. Welcome to The Loft, Gavin. Thank you, thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure just to touch base with you because everything right now in Cape Town is all about fashion. And right, the, the theme that keeps coming up is sustainability, sustainability. So how does your collection speak to that? So I mean, the I mean, my invitation was quite uh, cryptic, but it was a question we posed, which is uh, which was just, must there be more? And I, you know, I worked with uh, Blom Boy, Alvain Berger to create this collection and to work on it. And uh, what we were really looking at is, must there be more, as in violence? Do we need more disease? Do we need more poverty? Do we need more waste? And the fashion industry is really one of the biggest culprits in terms of waste mm. in the world. And um, at the same time, I was, you know, I was using the show as a platform to give voice to children and children's rights and champion their rights. And I mean, we have a huge problem, which is, you know, child violence and sexual abuse. And we don't really talk about it because it's not, you know, it's not a happy subject. But uh, I'm very well known for taking those things head on. And so I was using the show also as about, you know, that. And must there be more violence? Must there be more abuse? And how do we end it? And so it was really... The collection was like almost post-apocalyptic and a vision for the future. And then obviously thrown into the mix of all this thing is, is you know, the, the world's plagued with a new virus. And what is it doing? It's causing phobia, seclusion, you know, people being excluded. So the, in a way, the garments also, if you saw the full collection, there were things like plastic. Mm -hmm. So whilst it was giving a message of being recycled, it was also about this thing about this is a new suiting, this is what we're arming ourselves. We're yeah. wearing plastic gloves, we're wearing masks, we, you know, so all of this. So, I mean, really, it was, it, it was just really a show that was kind of posing many questions out there. Yeah. Totally. What kind of responsibility do you think the fashion industry has and how much power do you think the fashion industry has to create awareness about discussing all of these issues that you've just highlighted? So the fashion industry in general is kind of the, one of the best vehicles in terms of pushing out a message. I mean, um, it's got great convening power, it's got great visibility and platform and, you know, it so happened we were also spending 20 years in, in doing fashion and being in fashion and one of the things was that I didn't want to leave a legacy of just pretty dresses. Mm -hmm. I think you've got to, if you've got some form of influence or visibility, whatever it is, use it for a good cause for God's mm -hmm. sake, you know. Um, and I think more and more we, the fashion industry needs to be a little less fickle and a little bit more responsible and accountable. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think just also recognizing humanity of the, of the people involved in it, yeah. you know. And, Gavin and he's Wright, definitely and... not scared to call people out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are so spicy, your hashtag how fake. <laughs> I love that, no, 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 I'm all for the spice. Yeah. But Gavin, you're speaking very global right now and the conversation yeah. is very universal. But honing into Africa in specific, yeah. Designing Africa's future. What trends are you seeing picking up in terms of futuristic, current, and what to expect? You know, I don't think Africa is in a vacuum. I think if you want to be a global player in fashion, you've got to look at what's happening in the world. Uh -huh. I think for the longest time, you know, uh, people look at Africa and it's fashion has become very stereotypic. It's, mm -hmm. you know, there's a very Dif big difference between what's patriotism and cultural traditional dress versus fashion. One might be fashionable, but it's not fashion. I think for the future for us is again, you know, my whole thing is about sustainability and creating resilient livelihoods for the people that work with me because, and the people I support in my business. I think that's very important. And I think for Africa to be a global player, you've got to be a global player within the world's economy. Mm -hmm. We've got to change the entire social landscape. We've got to empower people. Yes. So I think we've got to have those things. It's very important as, you know, in fashion, we're not just about the endless top-ups of champagne glasses. You know, we've got to be a little bit more 
substantial. No, and substantial yeah. is definitely what you are. You've got radical depth. I mean, we're speaking about a guy with who's at a Harvard Business School <laughs> at the moment, <laughs> who's like a spokesperson for UNICEF, and of course is leaving a legacy behind of really pretty dresses, which, by the way, is also f helping with sustainability. Because let me tell you, I've got some gowns in my mm. wardrobe that I've literally had for 18 years, and if I have to wear them tomorrow, they still look brand, brand new. You are amazing. Thank so you. let's see what happened last night. Tell us about some of these incredible So a lot of these fabrics, these brocades, were made from recycled plastic bottles. The leather is all pineapple leather. Oh. So it's made out of pineapple skin, so it's a kind of new vegan leather. So that isn't actual leather, that's pineapple no, it's skin. pineapple skin. No. Yeah. So what happens if you get hungry a little later? Can you, you could chew like on it a little bit, I suppose. <laughs> but the other thing was actually looking at, uh, you know, the provenance of fabrics, where it's, where it's made, how it's made, the ch you know, issues around child labour. Yeah. Those things were very important. And again, if you look at um, things like for the details, we've tried to replicate some of the details of the makeup with uh, Aldi May. And you'll see what they did was that we created this thing of uh, these mouths, which obviously, and these faces, which look like kind of details of viral kind of things. I saw the eye with the, clo with the closed yeah. eye. was actually the open eye. That was yeah. so powerful. It was, and it was really kind of challenging people to yeah. look again, yes. think carefully what you're doing, look at things, that, you know, from a different perspective. And holistically. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Yeah. We've got the second suit here that I'm obsessed with. I think I can, talking about sustainability and wearing things over again, yeah. you can separate these pieces from the pants to piece. the jacket. Yes, it is. Okay. And the thing is what we've done for this season, we've asked our, uh, our client to bring back maybe things that we've done for them in the past and they could actually then, instead of having something brand new, have it remodeled, restyled, oh. reinvented, remade. Um, and also, uh, all the garments are using kind of women that, you know, part of our non-profit, which is the White Light Movement, to create things like beading. So it's also, again, who made your clothes, you know, and how is your things made? It's, these are important questions to now, to now ask. Yeah. You know? Working with integrity, I see, I, it sounds like it's very, very important with you. And yeah not only speaking it but walking the talk and doing it i mean we all think uh, vegan is only left for in the kitchen yeah. but there's vegan material there's natural materials and we see Absolutely. you playing and using those yeah. it's very beautiful and still not compromising on quality yeah mm -hmm. and so again you know everybody's using a lot of kind of feather detail this is not feather it's a, a full feather <laughs> <laughs> if you want to Call it that, and what uh, is faux feather actually made from? Because like, it does it have the same feel. It's got an. Ac it's, it's oh, we, well, actually, strangely enough, it does. It's it's actually acrylic. Oh, oh wow! And I see that you also have brought in some Asian inspiration with the sleeves. Yeah. So uh, again, uh, you know, a lot of the silhouettes were kind of very Asian inspired, and it was also about. Um, Keeping that kind of sense of relaxed wear, you know, you can wear it over something in the evening, over a pair of jeans, it still would look good. Um, I mean, our signature is still really couture, yes. Yeah, so, uh, a lot of pleating details, so pleating is very big. You would have seen that also in Stefani's collection. Yes. And this final last look, I mean, I'm ready for the beach. Hello. She looks absolutely stunning. And I love the glitter and the sequence. Again, that attention to detail coming in. Yeah, and all of that's done by hand. Every what? single bead, every single piece of crystal is all stitched on by hand onto silk organza. So, uh, again, created by amazing women who have trained to do these, these beautiful things. From start to finish, the process of creating your look from inspiration to feeling it, putting it on your clients and loving it. How is it like for you in terms of in, Ga in the legendary Gavin Rogers head? How does it all come together? I, I think it's, you know, this question I've been asked, like, especially last night, all the like, how do you dream these things up? Yeah. And I think that you really, you know, it's travel, it's, it's really to be inspired and to be moved. And I think if you kind of pursue these, you know, things that you're passionate about fearlessly, then these things kind of come naturally. But I think, you know, I also have a chance to play a bit. I've been in the business for a long more, a lot more time, so I can 
So I have to tell you, every time I go and see Gavin, and I say, I've got this coming up, I've got this coming up, I don't even tell him what I like, what <laughs> colour I'm interested in. He just has a little look at me, uh, looks me up and down, and just comes up with this incredible, incredible something. So there's a joke that we have <laughs> in the makeup room. All the girls can't wait for me to get married a few times because they can't wait to see the surprise wedding dress that we'll come up with. But also it's important for women these days to wear the clothing. And so yeah. it's very really amazing that you wear the clothing. The clothing doesn't wear you. Wow, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much, Gavin. You're welcome. Love you. So we still have a live performance coming up by Nigerian-born singer Scooby Nero. Stay, <laughs> stay right where you are. That's coming up after the break. Two, three, four, Two, three, five, four, six. Five. Welcome back to Afternoon Express and of course today is just such a fantastic show and you know I was thinking about those beautiful beautiful Gavin Raja jackets made with the pineapple um, faux leather mm. and it um, made me think of the faux leather that we're wearing from Woolworths all matchy matchy <laughs> super sexy starting a trend guys starting a we trend. Want it. <laughs> Speaking about trends now this is definitely yeah. definitely going to trend again hashtag Tropica Island of Treasure Carousel is currently showing on SABC3 and on Tuesday evening at 7 30 p.m it was or it was the second episode rather yeah. of this hit series and of course the highlight of the episode for me was definitely the first team challenge and the surprise element actually of the long life charms which were introduced Jeannie <laughs> look I totally agree with you I am telling you now that these long life charms are going to cause yeah. a whole lot of spice on our TV screens and if you missed the second episode of hashtag Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao on Tuesday evening 
don't stress, you can catch the repeat tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. only on SABC3. And mm -hmm. even if it's just to have a look at, what's his name, Trevor. Trevor. Woo! Girl. Shut the front door. <laughs> Trevor is worth watching any day. Yeah. Wow. The athleticism, <laughs> the skill, the technique. Oh. I was just looking at his smile, really. It had nothing to do with these abs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss it. Tropica Island of Treasure coming your way. <laughs> On the next Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao, the teams have been decided, and it's now time for them to compete in their first challenges. The winners have <laughs> chosen each other. Team Mango Peach. <laughs> Move, move! It's harder than it looks. Nailed it! That team, they're gonna be a problem. And a new strategic element is introduced. This could be a big game changer. It's anyone's game. Enemies! <laughs> Catch Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao Tuesday evenings at 7.30, repeat Saturdays at 8 p.m. only on SABC3. <laughs> Is the man who is iced out looking so cool ready for the weekend of course if you want to join us in dancing and having a good time move your furniture aside stand up and send your videos of you enjoying this live performance to our social media platforms now scubanero has been on the scene since 2012. he started off as a dancer and for some of the world's biggest artists and eventually kicked off his own music career he is here to perform his latest track only fan account take it away scubanero <laughs> Scooby Ginger, a Jenny. She did rap, she did sing song. For the ring, it did ding dong. Record deal, they did bring come. Now her song, they for billboard. But you get why she be slave queen. No money to pay bills. She don't go on the door screen. That whole boy, sugar daddy. Only for an account, yeah. Only for a count, yeah, for a true fans, yeah. Only for a count, yeah, only for a count, for a true fans, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your papa not a true fan, yeah. Your uncle not a true fan, yeah. Your boyfriend not a true fan, yeah. Even your boss not a true fan, yeah. Your papa not a true fan, yeah. Your uncle not a true fan, yeah. Your boyfriend not true fan, yeah. Even your boss not true fan, yeah. She got us with the groceries. About to stop on the daily. iPhone camera 20. Go see guy, it's a story. No be lie, I did tell you. We branding when get level. Radio coming down view. Reality TV show, me no need to tell you. Slim tick, real tick, big chick. DM, no money, beauty. I got life, slim tick, she fits. Fan tweets, she see retweets. Dubai, she go. Big back, them know. That shoot, that shot. Money, 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 anywhere she go, yeah. Only fan account, yeah. Only fan account, yeah. Oh, I drew fans, yeah. Only fan account, yeah. Only fan account, yeah. Oh, I drew fans, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your papa not true fan, yeah. your uncle not true fan, yeah. your boyfriend not true fan, yeah. even your boss not true fan, yeah. your papa not true fan, yeah. your uncle not true fan, yeah. your boyfriend not true fan, yeah. even your boss not true fan, yeah. true fan, 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 Yes, Scooby Nero here on Afternoon Express. I have to tell you what I just actually noticed on Scooby now, and it's like hugely in fashion. I'm seeing it everywhere. The face tattoo. Yeah. Scooby, you've got to come and tell us about your face tattoo, Ruth. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm seeing it everywhere. Post Malone, I mean, he doesn't yeah. even have a face left. It's just tattoo, basically. <laughs> like, for me, I'm just like, art, art, it, art. Yeah. Your body's a canvas. Have a seat, sir. <laughs> Thank Incredible you so much. performance. Thank you very How much. How painful is that? Oh, it wasn't really painful, though. Uh, really? But the first take was painful. Yeah. The rest wasn't really painful. Okay. All 
Laurel. I don't believe you. <laughs> for real. <laughs> no, no, no. But that was so incredible. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence and performing such incredible work. We definitely wish you all the best in your future. I know 2020 is looking very, very bright. And from the fashion mavens, I mean, you guys have come through, inspired us to be more creative, but to always be responsible around what we purchase and what we have in our wardrobes. Definitely appreciate it. Totally. <laughs> yeah. I think this is just a really, really good idea to have some more Stefania and some more Raja in our wardrobes. Actually, I sleep on Raja um, cushions uh, every night. <laughs> I'm everywhere. <laughs> so, so I was in my room the other day and they went, what does GR stand for? And I went, Gavin Raja. <laughs> but I've actually got to come to you to do JD ones. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Sustainable cushions. Those will make sure you have sweet, sweet dreams. Exactly. Ready to kick off the weekend. Thank you so much for being here. It was really, really fantastic. Thanks. Please be safe and you at home also remember to please be safe. Don't go kissing strangers and wash your hands all the time. So, of course, have a really fantastic weekend. And we'll see you again next Monday, where we're going to be chatting to most of it, a motivational speaker, Bradley van Rienen, an entrepreneur from Cape Town, who is on a mission to help us uplift other aspiring entrepreneurs from her community. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a beautiful weekend. Until next week, good night and God bless. Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.